Welcome to this exciting video about the NHL's weirdest and most bizarre goals that counted. As hockey fans, we all know that scoring a goal in this high-speed game is no easy feat. But what happens when things get a little strange? The significance of each goal is greatly increased because of the intense pressure to win. Whether or not a goal crosses a red line, it is typically relatively easy to determine whether it is indeed a goal. Yet, that red line might become hazy due to various conditions and situations. Here are 10 of the most unbelievable, unbelievable and downright bizarre NHL goals that actually counted. Brett Hull's No Goal Let's start with one of the most controversial goals in NHL history. In Game 6 of the year 1999 Stanley Cup Finals, Brett Hull of the Dallas Stars scored a game-winning goal in triple overtime against the Buffalo Sabres. Nobody would have predicted that the game would be settled after more than an hour of play when it was deadlocked at 1-1 at the end of the second period. Due to the outstanding play of Ed Belfour and Dominic Hasek, the game went into a wearying third overtime. The most controversial goal in playoff history was scored at 14:51 in triple overtime. Brett Hull scored the cup-winning goal by sneaking it past Hasek after kicking a bounced puck to his stick. The issue was that Hull's toe was in the crease, which was against NHL regulations at the time. However, he was in the crease when he scored the goal, which was illegal according to NHL rules. Nevertheless, the goal counted, and the Stars won the Stanley Cup. Ron Hextall's Own Goal In 1987, Philadelphia Flyers goalie Ron Hextall accidentally shot the puck into his own net during a game against the Boston Bruins. He blasted the goal into an empty net. The tenacious former Flyers goaltender scored at 1848 of the third period to help his team defeat the Boston Bruins 5-2. The strange thing about this goal was that Hextall actually shot the puck the entire length of the ice, making it an impressive own goal. Dennis Weidman's Bizarre Goal In 2016, Calgary Flames defenseman Dennis Weidman was hit hard into the boards by a Nashville Predators player, causing him to be disoriented. While skating back to his bench, he inexplicably shot the puck into his own net, scoring a goal for the Predators. At Bell Center, Dennis Weidman's goal wasn't very pretty 8 minutes and 10 seconds into the first period. The defenseman actually hung his head in surprise at the way he chipped the puck instead of properly connecting on a slap shot, like a golfer using a wedge. Yet the unfortunate goal ended up being the game winner as the Capitals defeated Montreal 3-0 to score a crucial victory. Weidman observed, that just went straight up. Although you want to score goals, it can be difficult to react when they are put in like that. When things aren't going well for someone, ambitions like that seem to be achieved. Max Pacioretty's Broken Stick Goal Max Pacioretty, the left winger for the Montreal Canadiens, is known for his impressive skills on the ice. But in a game against the Dallas Stars in 2013, he managed to score a goal in one of the most bizarre ways possible, with a broken stick. The play started with the Canadiens on the power play. The Stars were doing their best to keep the Canadiens from getting a good shot on goal. But Pacioretty managed to get the puck on his stick and take a shot toward the net. But as he took the shot, his stick broke in two. The blade of the stick flew off towards the boards while the handle remained in Pacioretty's hand. However, instead of giving up on the play, Pacioretty followed through with his shot and the broken stick actually ended up redirecting the puck toward the net. Brian Scrudland's Strange Goal Brian Scrudland of the Montreal Canadiens scored one of the most unusual ones in 1986. Scrudland's goal was so strange that it is still talked about by fans and analysts alike. The play began with Scrudland battling for the puck near the Buffalo Sabres net. As he tried to skate toward the net, a Sabres player tripped him up, causing him to fall backward onto the ice. Scrudland slid towards the net on his back, with his head facing the opposite direction. Scrudlin was still holding onto his stick as he slid toward the net. Amazingly, he managed to raise his stick up and hit the puck that was floating in the air, setting it flying into the net. It is still talked about by fans and commentators to this day and serves as a reminder of just how unpredictable the game of hockey can be. Ryan O'Reilly's Goal Off the Referee In 2018, Ryan O'Reilly of the Buffalo Sabres found this out firsthand when he scored a goal off the skate of the referee. The play started with the Sabres on the power play. O'Reilly had the puck and was looking to pass to a teammate when the puck bounced off the skate of the referee, who was standing near the boards. The puck then took an unexpected bounce and went toward the net, catching the goalie completely off guard. 
the goalie tried to react to the shot, but the puck had already crossed the goal line before he could make a move. The referee was quick to signal that the goal was good as it was a legal goal according to NHL rules. Mike Smith's own goal from behind the net. As a goaltender, your main job is to stop pucks from going into your own net. However, sometimes even the best goalies can make mistakes that result in a goal for the other team. In 2013, Mike Smith of the Phoenix Coyotes learned this lesson in a very hard way when he accidentally scored his own goal from behind the net. The play began with the Coyotes in possession of the puck and Smith looking to clear it out of his own end. He went behind the net to retrieve the puck, but as he tried to pass it to one of his defensemen, the puck hit the back of the defenseman's skate and bounced back toward the net. To Smith's horror, the puck hit his own skate and trickled into the net, much to the delight of the opposing team. The goal counted, much to Smith's dismay, and the Coyotes were suddenly down a goal in a game that they had been leading. Alex Ovechkin's Crazy Goal Alex Ovechkin is known for his incredible skill and goal-scoring abilities. But in 2006, he showed just how creative and acrobatic he could be with a crazy goal that left fans and opponents alike in awe. It was a game between the Washington Capitals and the Phoenix Coyotes, and Ovechkin had the puck behind the net. He was being closely guarded by a Coyotes defenseman, but he managed to slip past him and get a shot off. However, the shot was blocked and Ovechkin lost his balance, falling to the ice. But Ovechkin wasn't ready to give up on the play just yet. As he lay on his stomach, he reached out with one hand and managed to slide the puck toward the net. The puck took an unexpected bounce, slipping past the goaltender and into the net. Mike Legg's lacrosse-style goal In the world of hockey, there are few goals more impressive than those that require incredible skill and creativity. In 1996, University of Michigan forward Mike Legg showed just how innovative and talented he could be with a goal that still leaves fans shaking their heads in disbelief. The goal came toward the NCAA tournament game against the University of Minnesota, and it started with Leg picking up the puck behind the net. Instead of trying to pass it to one of his teammates, Leg did something completely unexpected. He flipped the puck onto the back of the net. With the puck sitting on the back of the net, Leg quickly batted it into the air, using a lacrosse-style motion to send the puck flying toward the goal. The puck sailed over the goaltender's head and into the net sparking wild celebrations from the Michigan bench and leaving the Minnesota players and fans stunned. Thomas Hurdle's four-goal game When Thomas Hurdle took to the ice for a game which was against the New York Rangers in 2013, he had no idea that he was about to make history. Hurdle, who was just a rookie at the time, had already scored three goals in the game, but it was his fourth that would go down in NHL history as one of the most incredible goals ever scored. The goal came late in the game, with the Sharks already well ahead on the scoreboard. Instead of taking a shot with his stick, Hurdle decided to try something completely unexpected. Hurdle received a pass from a teammate and found himself one-on-one -on -one with the Rangers goaltender. With the puck on his stick, Hurdle flipped it between his legs and into the net, a move that left the crowd and his teammates in awe. The goal was an incredible display of skill and creativity and it quickly became one of the most talked about moments in NHL history. We've covered some of the wildest, weirdest and most bizarre goals in NHL history. From players scoring while lying on their backs to pucks bouncing off referees and into the net, the NHL has seen its fair share of incredible and unpredictable moments. One thing is for sure, these goals will live on in NHL history forever. They remind us that in hockey, anything can happen and that the most unexpected plays can sometimes be the most incredible. So did we miss any of your favorite weird and bizarre goals? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Until then, keep watching and keep enjoying the game we all love.